In less than 50 years, Dubai has transformed itself from a sleepy fishing village to a global city which is competing with the likes of London, New York and Paris. With this growth comes massive opportunity, especially in a city like Dubai which benefits from a strong economy and strong tourism. And if a city benefits from a very strong tourism sector, then the Airbnb sector can be very lucrative, especially if you pick the right property. However, lots of people fail before they even get started because they pick a poor property in a bad location and their property fails to make any significant money. In this video, I'll be revealing the essential factors you need to know if you want to run a successful Airbnb business model. The first and most critical factor is the location, especially in an area like Dubai where there are so many locations to choose from. And if you pick the wrong location, your Airbnb business is doomed before you even get started. For example, when you look at the Dubai map, do you pick the Dubai Marina with its beaches and nightlife or downtown with its amazing views of the Burj Khalifa? Or do you pick an area which is slightly further out like JVC, which is becoming incredibly increasingly popular with young professionals. The first and most important question you need to be asking yourself is where do tourists want to stay? If you're a tourist, you're going to want to be staying in the main tourist hotspots. So that could be the Dubai Marina. Or if you're somebody who's on a business trip, you're going to want to be near the main commercial hubs. So that could be DIFC, for example. Any tourist wanting to stay in Dubai on a short term basis is on likely going to want to stay in the middle of a desert where there are no amenities. Therefore, areas like the Dubai Marina and also downtown are very good Airbnb locations. Be sure to click subscribe because the video I'm releasing next week are the best locations to invest in Airbnb properties in Dubai. Before I go on to talk about the importance of picking a property with amazing amenities, let's first talk about the developer. In Dubai, there are literally hundreds of developers. Some are good and some are bad. Picking a high quality developer such as Ema is very important because they will maintain and look after of a building. For example, if you have a low quality developer, they're not too concerned about their reputation and it could lead to a building falling into disrepair and not being maintained very well. What this will do is the property will get bad reviews and people won't want to book your Airbnb. Therefore, picking a developer which is a reputation and brand to uphold is very, very important when selecting an Airbnb property. This brings me on to my next point quite nicely, which is the building amenities. Properties which have amazing pools, saunas, gyms, and other facilities are a lot more lettable on Airbnb. Remember to always put yourself in the tourist shoes. And if a property has amazing building facilities, this is where people are going to want to go on holiday. It's not just about the building amenities, but also the amenities which are nearby. For example, is there a beach nearby? Are there amazing restaurants? Is there nightlife? All of these things make a big difference when selecting a property. The next essential item is picking a property with an amazing view. The saying goes, views sell and that cannot be understated. When you're somebody who's looking through Airbnb, one of the first things you'll notice is an amazing view. Therefore, if you invest in a property which has an amazing view over the Dubai Marina, over the sea, or looking at the Burj Khalifa, this will make a big, big difference in making your property stand out from the crowd. The importance of a visually appealing property cannot be understated. And that brings me on to my next point, which is furnishing the property to a high quality standard. What you've got to remember is the pictures are one of the first things people will see. And if a property is furnished very poorly, people aren't going to want to book that property. So it's definitely worth spending a bit more money to make sure your property is very well furnished. Also, it's worth the money to get a professional photographer in so they'll take amazing pictures for you. And it might be worth getting an interior designer in to make sure your property fits the bill and stands out from a very competitive market in Dubai. For example, one way to make your property stand out is if you're trying to attract digital nomads, then an HD screen with a really nice desk will make your property stand out and you're a lot more likely to attract people who are looking to do a working holiday. So in summary, if you are trying to have a successful Airbnb property, you need to ensure 
you've got the right location, you've picked the right developer, you've got the right amenities, you've got an amazing view, and the property is furnished very well. If you do all of these things, Airbnb can be very, very lucrative. If you're interested in finding out what are some of the biggest mistakes investors make, watch this video here, and don't forget to like and subscribe.